Yeah, I'm looking for a blue min pin. Yeah, so I was, I was looking for a blue min pin. Yeah, I'm looking for a blue min, yeah. Do you have a blue min pin? So I'm recording a video all about blue min pins and I'm having a hard time finding about them. Are they a real thing? Yeah, a blue min pin. Yeah, blue min pin. Do you, do you have any information about one? Yeah, it's like the black ones, but they're blue. This is gonna be harder than I thought. So when it comes to the blue min pins, they are considered pretty much one of the most rarest colors of the min pins. Outside of the Isabella Fawn color that you can find, they are most definitely, you know, the most rare, I would say. Now, up until the year 1980, they were accepted in the AKC show ring, uh, but at that time they were banned to never to return as at least this recording here in 2021. Now we did a video a little while back about the black and tan min pins like Zoe here. And while they are considered the, I guess, most common min pins, the blue min pins, like I said, are definitely a lot more rare. Now, having said that, where do these blue min pins come from? They actually do come from the black and tan min pins, but they suffer from a disease called color dilution alopecia. Color dilution alopecia is basically dilution of the pigment of the skin and also, you know, basically it's talked about with hair loss for the min pin as well. So basically it is a recessive genetic um, trait that can be passed on from otherwise, you know, like quote unquote normal, like black and tan min pins that have that, carry that trait and it's passed on to the puppies and that's kind of how you get that color. Now, is CDA dangerous? Now, outside of hair loss and maybe some skin irritation, there's been no found issues with a min pin that has CDA. There's no internal issues, there's no long lasting effects, you know, all or most min pin, blue min pins go on to live healthy lives just like any other min pin and don't suffer from any, any, like, any underlying disease or have a better opportunity to have that. Now, when doing my research on why they were kind of banned to begin with, there's a couple of letters that you can find on the MPCA website where pretty much there's been multiple groups that since they've been banned from the AKC and the CKC ring, that basically asked for them to be reinstated and most veterinarians pretty much say that they are technically considered a mutant you know mutated dog and therefore they do not want to condone or recommend breeding for that specific dog color now in other countries there are already accepted you know they're still accepted in the ring as one of the standard colors with you know the red clear red black and tan and the chocolate and tan an often debated question is, you know, should you breed for that color? Now, most reputable breeders that I have talked to basically said that they don't really breed for color to begin with. And that, guess what? Here's the secret. Yeah, I'm going to tell them. Yeah, the secret is, is that you can't really breed for color in that sense anyways. You know, if you've watched some of the other videos about the red men pin or the black and tan even, it basically is on what you know the mother and father you know are going to carry to pass on and so you could have a multitude of puppies and a multitude of colors within that you know cycle and so in a sense trying to breed for a certain color is not a good way to go and when you're looking you know you can look for certain colors but going by color alone is definitely not the way that you want to go now having said that like i said if you do have a blue men pin or you're looking for a blue men pin you know, they're not illegal. You're not necessarily wrong for looking for one. Like all factors, make sure that you're considering the whole dog and the whole uh, men pin breed process and not just looking for a specific color. Not only just, you know, blues, but also like I said, the black and tans and the uh, reds as well. Okay, so when it comes to the cost of the men pins, the blue men pins, their cost is basically the same. I said this in the last video and you should not be working with a breeder and trying to seek out, you know, the rare color that you can get. Now, if there is a blue min pin, especially if they're in the same litter as a black and tan, you know, min pin, they shouldn't be charging you, you know, a thousand dollars for the black and tan and, oh, I'm going to charge you, you know, a, a secret, you know, secret sauce fee of 1250 for the blue min pins because they're just that rare. 
It's not the way it should work. They should be sold all the same. Now, having said that, I don't always know that you're going to run into that. And so you may have to work with a breeder and you may have to make that decision for yourself. But definitely be careful if they're trying to really trying to drive up the price for it just being a blue min pen because they just made the most rare find in the world. Okay, so if you have a blue min pen, you know, they suffer from CDA, color dilution, alopecia. Is that curable? The answer is no. There is no cure for that. It is a genetic, you know, passed on, you know, disorder, disease, however you want to look at it. But the main thing is, is that while there's no curable thing for it, it can be treated. And mainly what you're treating, like I said, is you're treating their skin, you're treating, you know, potential hair loss or anything like that. And so usually some medicated shampoos, uh, taking care of their skin and watching for it a little bit more than maybe with your black and tans definitely will make the process go a lot easier. That's for sure. Now, if you're looking for a blue men pen specifically, they are very rare, they are hard to find. And like I said, usually I would just look for a men pen in general because men pens sometimes are hard to find as well. Just, you know, the black and tans or reds or whatever. So I would not seek out and just put all your eggs in that one basket. Um, I would look for the dog for you. And if that happens to be a blue men pen, then good, you know, good on you. I guess you found the blue men pen. But just find the dog that works for you, that works for your household and you know it's from a breeder that you trust that is the most important thing and trust me trust me the dog's color or anything like that 10 years from now is not going to matter it's going to be the actual dog that you got like i said i have this black and tan zoe here and you know doesn't matter if she's black red gold you know blue whatever you know she's my dog now and definitely would not trade it for anything right so make sure you choose a dog based on that like i said and definitely not on color alone so when it comes to colors and men pins, like I said, there's multiple colors that you can look for. And so if you are looking to learn about some of the other colors, we did do a couple of videos here. And one of the videos we did was about the black and tan men pin. So we'll link that video on the screen right now. You can touch that right now to go see that video. Also, YouTube will be recommending the video somewhere in this area there. So thanks for joining us. Make sure that you hit the like button because why not? And we'll see you over in one of these videos. Jen.